It's all about excellence, prestige, pride, passion, glitz, glamour, laughter. It's all about the biggest comedy award show in Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the very first comedy award show in this part of the world. The second edition of the Humor Awards, The Dream, The Glory, January 15th, 2023. Convention Center, Eco Hotel and Suites, Victoria Island, Lagos. Red carpets, 5 p.m. Awards, 7 p.m. Regular, 10,000 Naira. VIP, 25,000 Naira. VVIP, 50,000 Naira. Platinum table, 2 million Naira. Gold table, 1.5 million Naira. Silver table, 1 million Naira. Book your ticket now. Call plus 234-812-558-6901. Plus 234-706-3202-422. Tickets can be purchased on on ariatickets.com, Prince Ebano Supermarket, and all sorts outlets. Visit www.thehumorhoward.com. You all know how difficult it is to make people laugh, especially in our country where on a daily basis you are sure to be served breakfast. Well, our comedians and Nigerian comedians have made it a point of duty to always make us laugh with hilarious memes, with funny videos, and sometimes do stand up comedy. And I'm sure all these creatives deserve an award for their craft and recognition, and especially for their creativity. And that is why the Humor Award is here to make sure that they get exactly what they deserve. With me on seat today is a very amazing personality. Some of you may know him as a new lead in the industry, but for me, I see him as one who has an eccentric personality, as one who is focus driven, and one who has you know, sets the pace, he's like a pace setter. He's the brain behind the Humor Award. Hello, Uche Dominic. Thank you, Marina, <laughs> for having me here. Hi, welcome. I must say, Thank I like you. what you do with your hair. You oh. look rather amazing. Yeah, I look African. Of course, very, <laughs> <laughs> very important. Yeah. So I'm really interested. Tell me, how is it like, you know, coming up with the idea? Take me back to the very beginning, coming up with the idea for the award, that, this kind of award. All right, so um, I'm somebody who like to do something unique. All right. Something that is not in vogue, that something everybody is not doing. Sure. And so, you know, I, I always had it in mind that, you know, someday um, I was going to create um, an award or a project, something that will be different from what we have out there. And so um, while working in Hip TV as an entertainment journalist, um, I had the opportunity to interview over um, 500 celebrities uh, because I was dealing more with the um, uh, established celebs. I also covered over a thousand uh, comedy award show. Oh, apart that's from, huge! Sorry, I said award show, comedy shows. Shows, yes, right. comedy shows, comedy concerts, um, and then other um, musical concerts and all that. And then I discovered that uh, there was a loophole in the entertainment industry. industry. I mean, being part of the um, organizing committee of the Hades yeah. for four years, wow. is I, you, see that you know, I discovered that uh, we, we're paying too much attention to the guys in the music industry. True. Why aren't we paying attention to the guys in the comedy industry? I mean interviewing AY one day and AY was like uh, he has been to 14 headies that was before the 16th 15th mm -hmm. and 16th month he has been to 14 headies and uh, he's yet to receive a headie, a headie. yeah mm -hmm. you know he can't get a headie because he's a comedian and then it touched me and I, I was like I think it's time for someone to create something for these guys and uh, there is no other better person than to create it than someone who is in the industry, industry as well. someone who is uh, who does research, you know, about anything that has to do with entertainment, and so um, it was just in my mind. So I was thinking about it, you know, how could I, how would I go about it? What would, what would it look like? Okay. As at that time, I I also noticed that there was an award um, okay. for comedians too, but it wasn't elaborate. It wasn't prestigious. It was just like a side thing, you know. I don't want to mention the name of the award, the award so right. it doesn't look like I'm playing down on their efforts because uh, what they did also helped to inspire me to do something bigger. Better. Yeah, and better. So um, I saw that they were 
there was an award. I looked at the category. It was just about a couple of about, about eight or something. Yeah. It was like a, a side attraction to their end of the year party. party. And I said, yeah. no, we need to actually create an award that everybody will look forward to. The comedians will look forward to. That will be prestigious. That will have a face. You know, that will have all the razzmatazz, the paparazzi, and everything, everything that for them, yeah for the award. For, like that will look like the headies for the for comedy them. industry. And so. Um, while on on this faithful day, while on the sh on the plane, you know, traveling to Abuja to co go cover a comedy show, mm -hmm. so I was with my colleague uh, on the plane then, and then I saw Lassisi Elenu walk in, you know, coming down the aisle of the plane, plane. trying to get his, his seat. seat. Yeah. And I told my guy, I said, ah, I've been thinking about something. You know, these guys have been doing a lot for the industry, but nobody seemed to be recognizing them. I'm planning to create an award called. Um, humor humor awards. Award. So know. the name pop at that time. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want comedy award. I wanted you know humor. Something, yes. Because it, it, I wanted uh, the name that would um, that would capture everything that has to do with comedy. Because when you say somebody is a comedian, comedian. people look at it that uh, what the person just comes to do is to come and crack joke. But I'm looking at humor in its entirety. You know, not just comedy. Humor. Right. So, uh, for somebody who who does cartoon, he's doing a humor cartoon, something that will make you laugh. For uh, the guy who just comes and does his normal job as an OEP, but has the funny, funny side. side. Okay. He's not a comedian, but he ha he has a, a huge sense, sense of, of humor. humor. Okay. So, I wanted to capture everything that has to do with humor, not comedy, and then, and then yeah, because comedy com restricts it. And so, you know, I told him humor award. And he was like, fine, it's, it's a nice idea that he, okay. he, ha he has, you know, s something like that to in mind. I said, okay, let's work on this together. And then we came back to Lagos and I called a couple of friends together. And I said, this is what I have in mind. And then, you know, we said, okay, instead of humor award, let's make it the humor award. The to, humor it should be the only humor award in, yeah. in, in Nigeria, if not in Africa. Okay. And from there, we started looking at how the trophy was going to look like. Um, what kind of face, you to know? Give. We made our research and then we found a face for that would relate to comedy, and okay. and that was how the humor award came, came about. To be. Well, yeah. that's, I, t I totally it is so inspiring. Yeah, so you. Um, you know, having an entire event for you know comedians, what are the possible challenges you? This is like the second edition. What, what was the challenges you faced at the first one? You know, trying to get all of that together. Okay, so the Medin edition, you know how it looks like when you are trying to bring in something that people don't really um, uh, familiar familiar with. with, you know, and then something that someone probably had tried like maybe like ten years ago and didn't work out, and then people will give you lots of lots of excuses as to why why it should it yeah, wouldn't work as out as to why Happens this won't, won't work. Okay, so we we faced with the heckling task of you know, going from one place to the other, trying mm -hmm. to seek for support from the, the stakeholders, the comedians. Because for you to create an award for them that they would honor, that they would like, appreciate, you need to sell the idea to them okay. before you even go and sell it to the corporate bodies that would come and, and support. support. So we went to different people, went to Alibaba, went to Julosagu, went to a lot of them. Mm -hmm. And trust me, 95% of them embraced it. Wow. Yeah. It's like yeah. something they've been wanting. Yeah, that's when for. I knew that. In fact, I, I, I now saw the need for us to do Actually this particular do project. A couple of them had reservation. What was the award going to be like? Because as I then, we're just in talking we're just in talking stage. We didn't want to expose everything that the award uh, was all entail, about. Yeah. Yes. So they just knew that wanted to create an award, but they, did, they didn't know how, what's the criteria going to be like. How are you going to determine who is funnier and, and all that? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay. can you really determine who is, who is fun funnier? Yeah, like, what is funny to you might not be funny to me. Of Do you course, understand what I'm course. saying? Very true. Uh, somebody might be cracking a joke in pidgin English and probably I don't <laughs> understand. I don't really understand <laughs> pidgin. I cannot relate. Yeah, you get me? And another person could be cracking a joke in English. Somebody could be cracking a joke in Yoruba mm -hmm. or Igbo. And then me, because I don't understand the language, it's not funny to me. So what's, what's the criteria and all that? But we made them to understand that it wasn't about who was funnier. It was okay. who was, for instance, stand-up comedian of the year. Yeah. You need to look at who performed well in the whole year in terms of headlining shows, um, um, uh, making sure that 
he, uh, he or she, yeah. you know, also killed the show. So it's not about who is funny in his show. Who was who consistent? The highlights. Yeah. Over, yeah. Who is the person? We are not yes. saying that this person is funny. Not funnier than yeah. this person. Okay. We are saying that which person is outstanding this year? Headlined all the shows. You so know, and got yeah, bagged so all yeah, the it endorsement. Changes. It doesn't matter. If yeah, you are funnier yeah, or not. yeah. So you could be funnier good. than mm -hmm. you, you know, Mr. A. Mr. B could be funnier than Mr. Mr. A, but Mr. A was consistent in the year in yeah. review. Mm -hmm. Mr. K A headlined all the shows. Mr. A put him, his or herself out, out there. there. You understand? And so what we do is that for stand-up comedian, yeah. we pick about we you know after doing all the research that we did, you do. We now have about six people you know shortlisted by the jury okay. that will put forward out there for Domin the voters. You know the fans. Yeah. So okay. we in a way. We don't totally determine who the exact winner person is. is. We have people in the public, mm -hmm. okay, and then we have the uh, the um, the uh, best cartoon illustrator, okay. okay. People don't know that cartoon illustrators are also creating comic content. Go away, anything you read that makes you laugh is comical. Comic too. You understand? So cartoon illustrators, people who, who would draw stuff, cartoon on newspaper, newspapers, on blogs and all that. Yes. We look so at I, that I wanted to say, I saw something on a blog. So bloggers can also be in categories. As long as you are doing what's like... A humor, creating yeah, yeah, humor. Creating humor. You are in the category. Yeah, you're, you're in the category. That is totally beautiful because this is actually new yeah. and rare. even with other general awards, I don't think they have this criteria for determining who is nominated yeah, and yeah. all of that. I and for the five percent people okay. who didn't buy into the idea, mm -hmm. we it didn't make us uh, feel discouraged because we know that it will take time for people to, you know, buy the idea. So a, a couple of people wanted to see how the show was going to look like, okay, and then. I believe that by now, the 5% of the people who weren't convinced when we you hadn't done the, the middle yes. edition, after seeing what the show was you know, like, I'm sure that they are, they, they've all bought into the, the idea. idea. Yeah. So with, with this second edition, are there new categories compared to the first one? Because, uh, you know, with this uh, social media change and all of that, is there any new category added? The award is still young, even though okay. it's big. Okay, it's still very, very young, so we are growing. Um, and then, all I can't, you can't say that you know all aspect of comedy has um, developed. Okay. So for now, we still have twenty award categories, award categories like we had. Some of them have been renamed. Okay. okay. To actually coin, uh, to actually uh, capture what that particular category is uh, meant for. For instance, um, we had uh, TV sitcom. Of the year, best TV sitcom, sitcom okay. yeah, the amazing edition. But now we've changed it to best comedy uh, web series. Do you understand? Oh. Because you can't now everything is online. Line, Do you true. understand? So you cannot just say that something is uh, a TV uh, when it's out. It can also be online. online. There are a couple of um, stuff, a couple of. Uh, 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 comedy series that are both on TV and, and online. online. So, so we can't the confine. first one was a bit restricted. Yes, and this one yes, is yes, yes, yes. So we have we have renamed some of them. Why we allow the other aspect of the comedy, to, uh, um, the other aspect of comedy to develop. So once we are able to have a lot of people doing that particular stuff, then we will not create a category for more. more. Yeah. Okay, for a growing big thing, you know, we're still growing. How, how has it been for sponsors? you know, coming in and trying to support? All right, it's not been easy, I must say. It's not been easy, okay. but uh, we've been lucky, you know. We've been lucky from the amazing edition. We got a, you know, quite a number of uh, sponsors, sponsors uh, even though it wasn't as big as we want. Um, but of course, this is Nigeria. That's part of the challenge you, you're going to, yeah, you're going to face. Um, and why it is so is because even the um comedy shows in nigeria are not commanding the kind of sponsorship that they deserve compared to musical shows which is very very terrible okay. I, i'm going to repeat this again for the people in the comedy industry to understand what we in the humor world are doing to, yeah. yeah are doing you know we are trying to structure the industry okay the comedy shows that we have in nigeria and they are not commanding the kind of sponsorship and I do not know where the problem is coming from, but I feel that the comedians have not asked for what they deserve from corporate sponsors. I mean, you mm. hear of comedy shows where a, a brand is sponsoring with just product for a project that 
cost millions of, of, of Naira to put together yeah. and you just want to come and, and bring your drink there to give and you feel that that is support. You understand? Yeah, you, understand. you know, I mean, these are Nigerians consume your products, okay? Yeah. And these comedians consume your products. And it's time for them to make people laugh, to give back to the society, society by making so people you... laugh. What is wrong in, you know, creating a good budget for at least 60% of the cost of their show and making sure that they pull it through. So you find out that a lot of comedians run this show by themselves. By themselves. They are the ones who source for fun, they are the ones who sell the ticket, they are the ones who create the content, they are the ones who come on stage to crack the joke. Wow. They, are they are busy lobbying for people to buy tables. Do you understand? Which This is very, very wrong. Okay, and I, I do not know why it is so, but I feel that it is high time that the comedians actually um, stood up to demand, demand what for yes, what they want, they want because it's also affecting us in the human award. I mean, when you go to corporate sponsors for with a big because awards are actually big budget projects, big budget projects because there's the trophy to make, to make there's yes, build up. You're not just uh, doing advert to see people come and watch, watch. you. Uh, there's a lot of process before mm -hmm. you get to the day of the show. And so when you go to meet corporate sponsors, they come and tell you that uh, after all, we give so so events, uh, so so, so amount of money, happened. and uh, you know, and I'm like, so like other people are spoiling the yeah. business. Yeah. So at the end of the day, it's like you are the one actually supporting this brand, not the brand supporting, supporting you. you, because they demand for every heaven and earth. They want to be everywhere on your show. They want to sell their products. They want to be on all your publicity like, platforms. Yes. They want to be everywhere, but they don't want to commit the right funds. To, to project the, the show. Uh, show to be everywhere. So that's that's the problem. And I think um, <laughs> this should actually trend. What I just said now it should, should trend, trend because you go to those people who are so meant to actually support the entertainment industry, they're not doing enough to support the industry. Wow, that's, that's, that's a lot. It takes, a, I, I must say, a lot of, you know, focused-minded person to, you know, actualize these dreams because these were dreams before and then yeah, they're yeah. coming to reality and they, they will grow far and then big and global yeah. eventually. I also want to use the opportunity to also give a shout out to those guys, okay. the brands out there who actually understand what we're going through, right. who, you know, have actually come to come genuinely to yes. support us. I actually want to, you know, give a shout out to them. Um, it's not easy for you to put your money on a new project and a couple of brands trusted us and uh, we want to maintain that, that relationship trust, yeah. with them. Yeah. Okay. Um, so tell me, if you were not doing, if you were not doing this, organizing this award, is there any other thing you you would you know see yourself doing? If I wasn't doing the humor awards, yes, I'll be creating humor content. Okay, we have a comedian on seat. Yeah, um, <laughs> I back then, back yeah. then. In fact, that was one of the. I believe you know all those this, this stuff. I'm uh, what I'm about to tell you now probably informed my decision to create the humor award. Um, I used to crack jokes, you know, I used to host events, okay. you know, go on stage, crack joke, you know, be like an MC. Oh. I was really funny back then. I don't know if I'm still funny now. You are, you are, you are going to no, give me uh, one, so no, you're still funny. No, 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 no. You, you don't, are don't put still me on funny. Seat, please. So <laughs> I, I knew you, know, you were. So I, I used okay. to do that back in, 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 in school and then mm -hmm. in church, you know, I used to crack joke. But then comedy wasn't really lucrative it wasn't really it's something that people was like stand-up comedy it wasn't really what Back people there, yeah, yes, yeah people like how, how, how would i be able to go and introduce myself to um, maybe my in-law to be to say that I'm a comedian. what i do for a living <laughs> is to make people have like is this one okay you understand <laughs> yeah so it wasn't and you know i evolved into a lot of other things but i thank god that um whatever knowledge i had then also helped me to be whatever i am uh, today today yes because I, I feel like, um, you know, we all need a good laugh. Mm -hmm. We all need a good laugh. The mm -hmm. stress is, yeah. to relieve stress at least. Somebody to... somebody just have to, you know, um, celebrate the comedians. And these comedians can't celebrate themselves. themselves true. So if Very I have true. to sacrifice my own uh, uh, comedy career to celebrate the comedians, I'm fulfilled. Of course. Yeah. Certainly. Yeah. So now we have a comedian on stage. You want to give us any of your tro your tea? Let's go <laughs> any of your tea, your throwback lines. You want to give us anything that what, that very one comedy that, that never leaves your head. I'm very sure all comedians have that. Do okay. I have any? You have. Do I? You do. Let's continue. I'll I'll, I'll go back to you. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, let me give you this slide. Okay. Let me give okay. you this slide. Yeah. Okay. Eh? Mm-hmm. Ozulu. Okay. So that they no go use your house at poor man location for inside movie. Ah. Uh, you know, say, ah. when, wait, you know that when you're looking for ah, a location, mm, mm. you understand what I'm saying? When you're looking for a <laughs> location to use. to use for a poor man house, you'll be like, Mo go papa Sunday house. You get, you get, you get the, the props. You get, you get the props. You get the props. Everything we do. So, so that they enter with the one at poor man road. Nobody you they go remember. <laughs> Even for example, yes, even for example, yes, I say for example now, this person, I say please, I can't be poor in uh, example. So also, so that they don't go use your house, can't do poor man location for his movie. Mm. Thank you very much. Thank I you. had so much fun. Thank I had so much fun. Yeah, yeah. It was nice having you had on fun stage. Too. You had fun too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you for coming, Mr. Dominic. Yeah, Thank you welcome. so much. Welcome, and I cannot wait to experience the second edition of the Humor Award. It's happening on the 15th. Yeah, yeah on the 15th of January 2023. You all save the date. You know, you don't want to miss out on all of the fun, all of the laughter. Because trust me, you're going to laugh so much that you're going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> I said that. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and then you're going to see all of your faves, you know, taking all of the, you know, awards for each category, different categories for their talent. Yeah. I'm so excited that you're here today. Yeah, I'd like to see you on the red carpet. I will be there. Yeah, I will be there. I hope I have the time to get interviewed by you too. Uh, yeah, no, we will we'll do that My again. My idea always read on <laughs> some, some this I like know. that. <laughs> <laughs> you will see me, I'll drag you. Maybe I'll wear red. What I'm wearing right now, so I'll be noticed easily. It's the, la the maiden edition, people mm -hmm. tried to interview me. It was difficult because I just needed to get everything together. I, I, I managed know. to do two interviews. Managed to do two interviews. Like, you know, everybody if was coming. If it's two, I'll, I'll just be the first person. Let's somehow. see how it goes. <laughs> and the Human Award team will be the second person, right? Egg, of course. All so right, that's it. That's the two interviews for let's you. Let's see how it goes there. <laughs> do not forget to stay happy, smile, laugh, because it's a season of love right and do not forget to download the kedu tv app on your android and your ios um, store and do not forget to also catch up on entertaining content and lots of amazing interviews on your fire tv roku tv lg smart and samsung smart until i come your way next time bye bye